This is a 30 minute full body strength workout for people with diabetes using resistance bands and some type of anchor. And I've provided links to the bands and anchors that I use down in the description. You'll need a bench or other type of support to prop your foot on, and it should be between six inches to knee height level. Before getting started, please make sure that your blood sugar is between 100 to 250 milligrams per deciliter and that you've watched the relevant safety and instructional videos posted in the description below. Our first warm up exercise is an air squat. Stand with your heels at shoulder width, angle the toes out to 30 degrees, chest up and abs braced. Begin to squat like you're sitting in a chair with your knees aligned with your feet. Go as low as you can safely go with the ultimate goal of your hip crease dropping below the top of the knee. I provided a link to an air squat instructional video in the description. We'll work each warm-up exercise for 45 seconds. Keep a steady breathing pattern throughout the warm-up. Next movement is arm swings. With arms fully stretched out to the side, swing your arms towards the midline of your body, allowing the right arm to stay above the left and pat the back of your shoulders at the end of the movement. Return to start and repeat, but this time let the left arm swing above the right arm. Alternate which arm is on top for each rep. You're going to need a resistance band and an anchor at about elbow level for the next movement. With your left arm at 90 degrees, upper arm squeezed into the side and shoulders down, begin to rotate your left arm out to the side. Let's repeat that same external rotation movement on the right arm. Worms, you're going to reach your hands to the floor. Walk your hands out as far as you can, making sure that your hips don't cave to the floor. Then walk your hands back to the start and stand back up.
we've got 10 different exercises that will each be repeated once and we'll have 30 seconds of work and 30 seconds of rest for each movement. The first exercise is the Bulgarian split squat. Sit at the edge of your bench, stretch your left leg out straight, and then stand up into that left foot placement. Prop your right foot on the bench behind you. Squat into that left leg as low as you can safely go and stand back up. I have links to instructional videos for the Bulgarian split squat and different types of lunges in the description. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. You can do this with your body weight or with a band. If this is too advanced, feel free to do a regular split squat, which is essentially the same thing as a stationary lunge. The second exercise is the Bulgarian split squat on the right leg. You'll need your band anchored at about chest level for the third movement. With your back towards the anchor, grab each end of the band in each hand and start with elbows bent and each hand at chest level just in front of the body with the upper arm at about 45 degrees. Walk away from the anchor until you feel tension in the band. With a split stance, chest up and abs braced, press forward until the arms are straight and return to start. Exhale as you press forward, inhale on the return. Please hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying the workout. The next exercise is going to work opposing muscle groups of our last movement. You can keep the anchor in the same spot. Face the anchor with the ends of the band in each hand and arms outstretched. Walk away from the anchor until that tension in the band is felt. With a split stance, chest to the ceiling and abs tight, begin to pull your elbows backwards until your hands are at chest level. Then return to start. Exhale as you pull the band towards your body and inhale as you straighten your arms. Our fifth exercise is the banded front squat. Stand on the band with your feet shoulders width distance, toes pointed out to 30 degrees. With each end of the band in each hand, place your hands just above the shoulders and bring your elbows up so that your upper arms are parallel to the floor. Begin to squat down as low as you can safely go, aiming for the hips dropping below the top of the knee and stand back up. Make sure to keep those elbows pressed towards the ceiling throughout the movement. Inhale on the descent and exhale as you stand up. We're moving into single joint exercises now. 
starting with the triceps. The band will need to be at a higher level. Back towards the anchor, handle in each hand, start with your elbows bent on either side of your head, and walk away from the anchor until you feel tension. With a split stance, your upper arm should be about parallel to the floor, and your torso and back leg should be in a straight line. Extend your elbows and return to start. Exhale as you extend, inhale as you bend. Exercise number seven is bicep curls. Stand in the middle of the band and grab the handles in each hand. You may need to cross the band to feel tension at the bottom. With arms straight, begin to curl the arms towards the body and lower them. Exhale on the way up, inhale as you go down. Heel raises are next and can be done with just body weight or with bands. You may need to hold on to something for balance if you're doing this without bands. Place the band under the left foot and make sure that you're holding the band in a place that you feel tension with arms straight by the side. Lift your right foot off the ground and begin to lift the heel of your left foot as high as you can. Return it to the ground with a steady breathing pattern. Our ninth exercise is heel raises on the right foot. The last movement in the sequence is a butterfly sit up and you can do an abdominal crunch if this is too advanced. Lie on your back, bend your knees and have the soles of your feet touching each other. With arms stretched out overhead, begin to sit up and reach your arms as far forward as possible. Lie back down and continue for 45 seconds.
now going to repeat each exercise one more time. Remember to hit the bell to get notifications for new videos.
time to cool down with some stretching. Have a seat on the floor. Extend your left knee and pull the sole of your right foot to the inner thigh of the left leg. Point your toes, squeeze your chest up, and bend forward over the left leg with a flat back. Every stretch you should feel tension but not pain. Hold for 45 seconds. Switch legs. With your legs outstretched in front of you, interlock your fingers behind your back. With chest to the ceiling and straight arms, begin to bring your hands towards the ceiling. Bend your left knee and bring the foot towards your left hip. Place the sole of your right foot on the inner left thigh. Switch sides. Thanks for training with me.